This lesson is about developing your storytelling muscle and your capacity to convey your opinion through stories, not an analytical treatise about why. In the modules on dealing with inconsistent voters or dealing with Trump curious on undecided, we're going to give you more on this, but you might as well start now. Basically, here is the point. If you're voting for Harris, you probably could say four or five reasons why voting is important and four or five reasons why voting for Harris is important. And that's all good. But stories are more persuasive than analysis. And so it's useful to start practicing telling stories. So let's just take each of those in turn for voting. Think about a time, think about a story that conveys why you think voting is important. So maybe it was a time when you didn't vote in an election. Maybe it was a school election or a time where you were not involved in some institutional process where you could have been and it made a difference and you didn't get the results you want. Or maybe it's the opposite, where you got involved and it was a close election and your participation mattered or your vote mattered. It's important to try to back up your suggestion that the person vote with a story, not just with some analysis. If you think you might be trying to get somebody to uh, not to, to who's Trump curious or undecided to vote against Trump, sure you have a lot of analytical stuff you could do, but more more effective is going to be telling stories. So, yes, you might have an analysis about why Charlottesville reflects white supremacy, but it might be more useful to tell a story about how you felt while watching that happen and reading articles about the white riot there, uh, perhaps children in cages. You could talk about it analytically, but it might be more impactful to talk about how you felt watching that. Or maybe it's not a specific incident. Maybe it's the chaos that you experienced of the Trump presidency, the an incident or accumulated incidents. The point is you want to try to convey your perspective through a story that they can potentially identify with. So there's a worksheet that is attached to this video but the point is to come up with stories that might be relevant and then start practicing telling them. So when you're talking to your like-minded friends, learn how to tell stories. You might drop it into a conversation or you might say, I want to tell you a story and give us a feedback about the story. The point is practice conveying your perspective through stories, not just through analysis and facts. Let's get to work. If you like the content of this video, please press like or subscribe because that helps the algorithm push it out to more people who might want to see it. Anything you do in support, whether it's a like or a subscribe or a share or even a small financial contribution to this self-funded project is helpful in making sure we can continue this important work of spreading compassion for the sake of democracy.